This video presents characteristics of the digital image, the digital display, defining a matrix, pixel, spatial resolution, contrast resolution, and bit depth. We'll talk about what makes up a digital image, what makes up a digital display, how small an object we can display, which is called spatial resolution, and we'll talk about it in terms of how small the tip of our paintbrush is, and how many shades of gray we can store and display, and we'll call that contrast resolution and bit depth, and that'll be the amount of shades of gray in our crayon box, which is all gray crayons. We can imagine the imaging chain as three major categories, the first being exposure. We expose the patient. Some x-rays are scattered, some are absorbed, and some are transmitted. The next category is acquisition. Those transmitted x-rays are captured on a detector, which is usually laid out in a matrix of detector elements called DELs. After some fantastic image processing, we're ready to display our digital image. We'll do that on our monitor, which could be your smartphone or your computer workstation, and that'll be a matrix of pixels, which are picture elements. And the focus of this talk are the digital image and the digital display. We will not be going into the matrix of detector elements. So the digital display consists of a matrix of pixels, and for each pixel, the computer is setting a specific brightness level. That brightness level depends on the intensity of the x-rays that transmitted through the patient. The matrix is an array of columns and rows, much like a spreadsheet, and each cell within that matrix is called a pixel. Here we have a five by five matrix consisting of 25 pixels. The bigger the matrix, the smaller the pixel. If you bought a smartphone that had four times the resolution your previous smartphone had, it wouldn't be four times larger, it would have pixels that are one quarter the surface area. Here we see a 10 by 10 matrix with 100 pixels next to a 5 by 5 matrix with 25 pixels. The level of detail of your display is controlled by the pixel size. So if this was a video and you were watching me live and I had a pimple on my chin, I would hope you're using the low resolution display, the five by five matrix, where that chin pimple would be averaged with the rest of my chin tissue and would probably be invisible to you. But if the pixel size was as small as my chin pimple or smaller, you would get a good view of that blemished chin. We describe the size of the display matrix in terms of the number of pixels. A one megapixel display has an array of a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, a thousand rows by a thousand columns, while a five MP display will have five million pixels. It won't be five times larger, but those pixels will be much smaller, so that display will be able to show much smaller objects. The measure of how small an object we can show is called the spatial resolution. And to resolve an object, we need to see the object, and then we need to see the background, an area where the object is not present. For that, we use line pairs, and a line pair has a line and then a space equal in width to the line. As the line pairs get smaller, we can fit more of them into a millimeter. Spatial resolution is measured in line pairs per millimeter, and a high spatial resolution means you can resolve very small objects. You can see the object and then a space where the object is not. Objects like bony trabecula, contrast fill arteries and veins, and breast microcalcifications are small in size and can be referred to as having a high spatial frequency. Objects like the liver or kidneys or brain are large in size and can be referred to as having a low spatial frequency. I like to think of it as candy. Tic Tacs and M&Ms are small objects, so I could fit a lot of them into my hand, so that would have a high spatial frequency, lots of candy per handful. But lollipops and chocolate bars 
are larger objects, so they'll result in a lower spatial frequency since I can't fit as many in a single handful. Maybe I can only get four chocolate bars per handful, but I might be able to get 53 Tic Tacs in a handful. So spatial resolution determines the size of the paintbrush that will be used to create our image, and it limits the level of detail on our display. And this is where film still beats digital systems. Film screen systems could get 10 to 12 line pairs per millimeter, while digital systems are only about 8 to 10 line pairs per millimeter. But it is in contrast resolution, which determines the number of grays we can resolve, meaning we can see a, a small difference in attenuation, resulting in a small difference in contrast. If we can resolve that small difference in contrast, we can perhaps look at fatty livers versus healthy livers. So contrast resolution is where digital really does well. It can see a contrast difference as small as 1%, while film screen could only see about a 10% difference in contrast. So our digital image file consists of the brightness value, or the shade of gray, for each pixel, and the number of shades of gray that are stored in the digital Im image file depends on the number of bits of memory the computer will use for each individual pixel. We call that the bit depth, or how many bits of memory the computer uses to store the brightness value for each pixel. A bit depth of one means only one bit is being used by the computer to store the brightness. So it has two to the one values, or just two brightness values, a zero and a one. So it can only display white and black. A bit depth of two means we can see two to the two brightness values because we're using two bits of the computer so we can store four shades of gray. White, light gray, dark gray, and black. So our eyes almost achieve a five a bit depth of five of 30 shades of gray, while digital radiography files often are stored with a 14-bit depth, meaning it stores 16,384 shades of gray. So how's that work out? So the human eye can see about 30 shades of gray. So with film screen systems, we could see about 30 shades of gray, but then we were done. But through the, with digital, we can window and level, and we can zoom in on any region of that 16,384 shades of gray, and we can expand that region to be displayed to our lousy eye detectors as going from all the way from bright white to black. And so we can interrogate any region of contrast by windowing and leveling. And that advantage of contrast resolution is one of the huge advantages of digital radiography.